Hello everyone and welcome to How to Fool Boyfriend. I've been meaning to play this for a while. Um, I've just been really bad at getting my audio set up. But finally, uh, have that sorted. So let's get started. New game. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Uh, let's go. We, we should choose a good name. So, um, 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 wait, it's the last name first, isn't it? I'll just use my first name. Christy. My last name. Mm. Yeah, we'll just do that. Is Kirsty Tosaka okay? I suppose. Yes, it's fine. Hatful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes. Blah. Let's get to the real gameplay. Oh my god! St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the scientists, the scientists, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a, of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ugh. It's, it's a pigeon. Ugh. Ryota. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Kirsty. Blah, 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 blah. Overslept? Ah! He's so adorable! <laughs> this rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Ah, oh, he's so cute. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you off on that. Uh, I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Wait, we live as a hunter-gatherer? We don't, like, live in a house? I don't understand. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need hu we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. Jeepers! No good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It, is there is there any end to this talking? It was uh, it was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Why did we go there in the first place? Da -da. Ah. Okay. I've never actually played a dating sim. I didn't realize there was so much reading involved. Though, I don't know what else I was expecting. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Yes, besties. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good morning, everybody. Er, uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. What, you don't know? I specialize in math and physics and also some 
other things. Z, Z, Z. Sir, wake up, it's homeroom. Hey, get your shit together. He sleeps with his eyes open? Eh. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogane. Ooh, he's pretty. Oh, music change! <laughs> what? What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Jeez. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Yeah, dick. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. Jesus, you're a pushover. But we can't just let him, break, let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. I don't know what a kulak is. Well, when you put it like that, would you at least say your name, Shirogane? Dots. Shirogane Labelle Sakuya. <laughs> he fancy. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make anybody proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Violins. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the uh, aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Uh, did you want something from me? Dots! Exclamation point! Oh, he looked away. Not really. Dots. Oh, he's got his own theme music too. Spooky. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure about that? Yes, I don't want anything with you. Okay. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. Uh, they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Dots. He silently returns his case to his book. This guy's... Ugh. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Maybe. Maybe he's just a dick. I'm Tasaka Kirsty, a sophomore. What about you? Dots. Your... Dots. Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. But we already said that. Oh, we already said that. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Oh no, it, it would be everything about him. His body language. His blank stare. Looking into your soul. Leave me alone. <laughs> Bitch. He's reading his book again. Well, that was interesting. Okay, sorry to bother you. Dick. I keep meeting depressing, depressing people today. I think we are going to continue to meet depressing people, but that's all we have time for right now. So uh, I will see you next time on Hatterful Boyfriend.
Goodbye.